Okay, so I think you probably like a really quick example of that Lorentz force stuff that we've been talking about in class, or that you'll see in just a moment. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give us a um, dipole, and that dipole is going to be tethered together. It's a physical dipole tethered together um, by something like an elastic string or something like that. Um, and I'm going to model that as if it were a spring. And, um, and that has some sort of maximum tension, right? Because it has some sort of maximum tension, there's going to be a maximum speed that this thing can travel in in a magnetic field. Let's say it's coming out of the um, page there, B. Okay. So what I want to do is I just want to find what that maximum speed is. All right. So let's let's see what I've just said. I have. All right. I said I was given a dipole. Okay. And. Um, it has a charge Q and an unstressed, oh, well, unstressed length. Maybe unstretched is better, but hey, L zero. Put the Q out here, and it has a spring-like bond as a spring like it's not a spring it's just going to act like a spring okay so it has a spring constant a spring stiffness uh, we'll go with kappa we love Greek letters as much as we love um, Roman letters right you know, we're not going to be biased against one or the other, so we've got to throw in a Greek letter every once in a while. And so it has some maximum tension associated with it. And we're using Greek letters here for um, this guy, so let's use a tau, right? And it flies perpendicular to a magnetic field. So strength B and um, it the particle the dipole has a speed V. You don't get all that there. So we got some stuff going on there. Everything's looking okay. We're all happy. We we, we know what we know what we've got to work with. Um, so we'll find. The maximum speed before it before it um before it flies apart because um we were reckless. High speed equals reckless. Are you are you reckless? Concept. You can say it's the Lorentz force. And um, that equation is F equals Q E plus Q V cross B. Obviously we have no electric field, so we don't, we're not going to use that later on. Um, so what's our strategy? Okay. Let's figure out how we're going to get this. So obviously we need to eventually get to um, making the tension equal to something involving these other terms. So what, what are we going to need to do there? Um, well, probably the uh, best thing to do is to uh, figure out the force from the field on each one of these particles. 
and then um, calculate the tension in the spring and then compare that to our maximum tension. So that should be enough, right? So we'll find the magnetic force on each of the um, on each particle, on each ball, on each whatever those things are. And then we will find the to find the tension. That's really just a sum, right? Then we'll set equal set it equal to um, maximum tension and solve for V. That's all we really have to do. It's not, it's not going to be the world's most complicated, difficult problem, right? They don't all have to be. So let's see, the force on each particle. So the force on the positive particle is this guy here. And he, that's equal to QE plus QV cross B. Um, e we said is zero, so we don't have to worry about that. Got a Q here, that's all right. Uh, v is going here in that x direction, so we have times V x hat cross uh, B, and B is coming out of the page, so B y hat. All right. And so that's equal to um, QVB times X hat cross Y hat, and X hat cross Y hat is just Z hat. Okay. Hmm. All right, and so F minus which is also a vector, uh, is equal to the same thing, only um, this Q is negative. So we just add a negative sign to this, um, this result, and we have minus QVB. The tension is going to be equal to basically the um, force pulling that way and the force pulling that way. It's a um, tensor. It's a tensor value uh, thing in there. Uh, so, that's going to be um, F1 plus F2, uh, because this one's going out and that one's going out, so they um, add up. We end up with 2QVB as our tension, right? And we're going to set that equal to our maximum tension. And then we solve for V, right? So V max is equal to tau over 2QV. And that's pretty much it. Nothing, um, like I said, wasn't, wasn't trying to give you any um, really, anything really deep here. Just keep track of everything and, and you'll be fine, all right? So thank you very much. I'll see you in class.